Glenwood School has been in existence for over 110 years. For most of those years, schooling has remained largely unchanged. Learning focused on literacy, mathematics, and the recall of facts in science and social studies. Students were taught one subject at a time in a 45 minute period by a single teacher. This industrial model of education was thought to prepare students for the many jobs that were available at the time. As the world around us changed, we needed citizens who could do more than follow instructions in the workforce. We needed creative, critical thinkers who could communicate well and collaborate with others. At the same time, technology and access to information made many of the teaching methods of the past irrelevant. Why spend weeks memorizing information when you could easily access it on the internet? Okay, we thought that was quick access. Today, the world is changing faster than ever. Most information can be obtained by asking your phone or watch a question. Hey Siri, what is the second fastest land animal? Here's an answer from SwedishNomad.com. The golden eagle is the second fastest animal in the world. There is a golden eagle at Assiniboine Park Zoo, which is 9.5 kilometers away from your current location at Glenwood School. We are preparing students for a future in which there are jobs that don't even exist today. How can Glenwood School give our students what they need for their future? We know that students will need to be able to learn from the environment that they are in. This will require the four C's, critical thinking, collaboration, creativity, and communication. We believe the best way to develop these skills is through project-based learning. So what is project-based learning or PBL for short? According to pblworks.org, Project-based learning is a teaching method in which students gain knowledge and skills by working for an extended period of time to investigate and respond to an authentic, engaging, and complex question, problem, or challenge. PBL requires critical thinking, problem solving, collaboration, and communication, all skills required beyond school. Students are expected to create high quality work, use higher order thinking, and learn to work as a team. How can there be time for this? Since projects encompass multiple traditional school subjects, we can accomplish a lot while also keeping student engagement high. We will always ensure literacy and numeracy are at the forefront and will cover the main outcomes in other curriculums. This means that we may not cover every single outcome, but students will have a much better depth and understanding in the outcomes we do address. We hope that PBL engages students in learning that is deep and long lasting and inspires for them a love of learning and personal connection to their academic experience. What does this look like at Glenwood? Each class chooses a project or projects that they work on throughout the year. We do not teach the project. Teaching is done through the project. Teachers focus on the product and the process. Projects have real world context and application. Results of projects are shared beyond the classroom with a public audience. One of the main ways in which Glenwood shares its projects is through our PBL exhibition nights. We hope that you can make it to one of those exhibition nights. Thank you for taking the time to learn about project-based learning at Glenwood School.